Hello everyone, and here I am with another LEGO Star Wars Bobo figure review, and probably my last, because at the time of this video, it is rumored that it might be cancel might be in the process of canceling and all. Well, is that true? We'll see. But this one is on Darth Maul. So on the front of the box, see LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, Darth Maul in a menacing pose, and then Bobo figures, Disney, and Ben Frey's 8 through 14, set number 75537, has 104 pieces. And then on the back, see logos again, and the full size, and him in another pose, how you work it, and yeah. And on to the booklet, of which same picture is on the front of the box and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. All the pieces included. Add for Lego Life. Add for Boba Fett and Darth Vader ones from earlier in the year. And then last going steps. And to the figure. So this pretty cool figure I find. So I'll start from the ground up as always. So the legs, which are just about as simplistic as Star Wars figures go, but not at all any technic gearing or greebling in the legs like most of those figures did. And then has this like lower uh, cloak area, which does work just like Jared in ways and. Uh, uh, Elite Praetorian Guard ones did. Well, it's kind of similar to that Praetorian Guards, but a little bit different, you know. And then for the chest plate oh, piece. And then the chest plate of which. Which does have some, like, good detailing to be like his Jedi Sith cloak. Okay, everything. And then, so now to the arms of which, if I can make this, this is which are as customly built. So, a little similarly to the, uh, the regular kind of ones, but except they're just always at a 90 degree angle, but quite technical. Bend. But also covering it are these newer armor pieces. Which look like this. And, and yes, they do work on any CCBS uh, shell pieces. And on the like, normal bulky socket joint pieces. And if I like attach the lightsaber together. And then for the back part of it. There's a long gear stick now for there. And just like many of the other Star Wars figures, it can turn a bit. But it can go from side to side, of which pretty cool back there. And then for the lightsaber, of which so it has two red ones. Compared to like the four that came with General Grievous back there. But, which is, of course, is nice. And then for the next thing area it has the same exact this, this, this new uh, collar kind of piece, which just like what Han Solo one has. And then to that head piece. Well, it looks just about exactly like Darth Maul's. Like rotten teeth, the eyes, and all the horns. It's just about as a normal size of Darth Maul. So, for the posability of this figure, so posability is quite similar to most other ones, but except you can't work with the arms because they're on the Technic pins and all. And legs also the same amount of movement as all other ones. And now on 
to final verdict. So the overall verdict, I think this pretty cool figure that I find, because you know it's Darth Maul, uh, which some people have kind of wished for for a while, but and now finally here. But at least has some good shoulder guard pieces and everything. And if you're a fan of Darth Maul, then go out and pick up this set. And and well, and and here it is together with the Han, the Solo duo, which is Range Trooper and Han Solo. So I think this probably wraps up the build of the figures line of Star Wars, and also the spring wave of build of the figures of Star Wars. And they were, and it was a good talking and everything. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.